right, today I'm going to talk to you about how I clean my iRobot Roomba. Uh, it comes with an array of brushes and filters with this vacuum cleaner. And I'm going to show you how I clean it. All right, right here I have a i7. This is part of the i-series vacuum cleaners right here. And it has two rubber brushes right up front. It also has a, um, a spinning edge brush right here for getting... Uh, material from the edges and then deep it down in the corners and here is the uh, collection box right here and it comes with a filter a filter like this inside which i'm also going to show you uh, that needs to be clean now this right here i have a um a base that actually sucks up all of the material after it finish is vacuuming so there is no dust material in here so i'm not going to go over that in here uh, but I will go over with the brushes. All right, so let's get started with the brushes. So right here, I have the brushes right here. And in order to clean these out, I have to release this latch right here. Now, what happens with these brushes right here is, uh, from my experience, is a lot of hair gets caught up in there, not in the actual brushes themselves, but on the edges. That's one thing about the rubber brushes is that they're great at not collecting hair within the rubber right here, but they do, however, collect them on the edges, and I'm going to have to remove that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this latch right here. See this green latch? I pushed it to the side, and I raised it up like this. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. Now, it's important to know uh, that these brushes have an order that they go into. So kind of re remember what order that they come out because that's the same order they have to come back in as. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out the first one, the one that's closest to me, the bright green one. I'm going to pull it up like this. You see, note how which side I'm pulling up on right here. All right, so this is the gray tip side right here. I'm going to take pull it up and then pull that out and this is the darker green side right here now what typically happens is hair gets caught up right on these sides right here and you're gonna have to pull the hair off right there because that can accumulate or hair gets caught up within this drum right here just take that and pull that out so i'm going to go ahead and pull that out right there and then i'm going to take this one and i'm going to take this one out the same way i did the other one pull it up a little bit pull out like that and there's hair in here just pull that out right here Gets caught in the side right here. Pull the hair out. Just simple as that. All right. And then you want to check down there to see if any hair is caught up in that. Just simply pull that out. Now, what I was talking about when replacing these brushes right here is if you look down in here, there is color coded light green, dark green. All right. That's the order that you have to put it in just in case you forget. Okay. So the light green goes in first. On this, not first, but closest to me, the dark green goes in furthest away. I'm going to go ahead and put the furthest away in first. All right, so I'm going to put it in just like this. And right here, make sure the light gray goes into the slot securely. And then I'm going to put the light green back into place like this. And it could be difficult at times. You have to make sure it goes in there. You might have to spin it like that. And it doesn't always go into place like it's supposed to. All right, got it in there, pushed it a little bit, and it's down in the slot. And when I'm done with that, I'm just going to simply take this lever and push it back into place like that. And that's clean, and they're back into place. Now, uh, what I want to show you right here is the edge sweeping brush right here. Uh, hair gets caught up on this and so you, some most of the time I can just take this and pull this off and it comes and releases uh, but other times I may have to take a screwdriver and unscrew this pull this brush off remove the hair and then place this back in place and screw it back into place like that but it comes off relatively easy so we have the brushes covered the brushes completely now I'm going to talk about this filter now uh, the filter is located in here in, in the automatic um, um, or in the dustbin right here. So in order to get to that, I'm going to have to release the dustbin, press this right here. All right. And this pops off. And I'm able to pull out the dustbin. And on the dustbin, if you look on one side right here, this is where this filter is right here. Now, I'm going to show you this. It's a little bit dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this upside down. And then there is a button right here. I'm going to press this and press this one on this side. And when I press this, 
this comes off and there is dust in here. Now you can tap it off in the trash can to remove this dust. Uh, and that, that uh, actually is really effective if you know, but you want this to be really clean if you want your Roomba to have maximum suction power. So you do that and you, you knock it off and then you, you can do that, all right? So, but if it is too dirty, if your, your filter's been in there too long or it's worn down, you can go ahead and get a new filter and put this into place. You see here is the new filter right here. See how clean it is compared to the old filter. All right, clean, new, old. And then put this back into place like this. Snaps back in and you're ready to go. And your cleaner, vacuum cleaner can um, suck up, you know, maximum amount of suction power. All right, and just put it back into place. And you also want to make sure that inside of the dustbin that is clear from debris. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.